in regional play and the, and the host one, even though it's going to be LPC. Yeah, you know, it's really exciting, you know, coming off a very long weekend in Oklahoma City, you know, it's it's been a grind to, you know, be able to get back in our own place for a few days, kind of get situated for a little bit, get, get our feet underneath us and, you know, getting back and, you know, we're in real nitty gritty now, we're in the postseason, every game matters, uh, every pitch matters, it's going to be a lot of high intensity and, you know, a great atmosphere in Oklahoma City and, uh, you know, being able to host the regional is an awesome feeling and, you know, not being able to do it here, it's, it's tough a little bit, but, you know, we have a great sport in Oklahoma City and we're very familiar with that ballpark, so we're really excited and looking forward to it for sure. When did you guys know the news that it had switched uh, locations? Uh, there's been talk um, kind of Saturday going into yesterday, um, kind of about, you know, all the rain kind of happening in Stillwater and how much uh, the field's kind of been drained since that Baylor series. So there was talk about it and then kind of going into Sunday after we won, definitely getting on the bus. And uh, I know Josh and Kevin Fyde had talked to the kind of the head people there in Bricktown and uh, kind of they just kind of determined that that was our best situation to be able to get the games in and be able to still host that regional. So, you know, like I said, it's, it's tough not being able to do it here, but you know, our, our fans are going to be there to support us no matter what, and that's really all that matters. <coughs> How exciting was it seeing, seeing the crowds down there for the Big 12, you know, with the, the crazy schedule that you guys had? And, you yeah, know. yeah, no, it's awesome. You know, uh, you know the game scheduling, you know, being late at night and then the game getting canceled and early the next morning, you know, our fans are just awesome, you know, being able to have their sport, and they, they have our backs all the time. And, I mean, I remember the championship game, I was kind of sitting there in the – kind of when the game started and I turned to, I can't remember who it was, somebody in the dugout and I was like, man, there's not quite as many people here as, as there was my sophomore year. Uh, you know, I think kind of everyone knew the game time that sophomore year, but uh, yesterday they could, didn't quite know exactly when the game would start. But then, shoot, I looked around in about the third inning and that thing was close to full in the bottom layer. So, you know, our fans are pretty awesome and being able to have that support and it almost makes those games feel like a home game for us. And, you know, that's huge, definitely in any situation, especially in like a tournament setting. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome to see. Ask Colin the same thing, but were you surprised you guys didn't get one of those top eight seeds? Yeah, you know, it's tough. You know, we we put ourselves in the situation to get one of those top eight seeds. And, you know, not being able to get it, it kind of kind of throws a little wrench in the plan a little bit. But, you know, uh, it can't really be our focus right now. We just got to focus on what's at hand. And, that's Harvard on Friday or whenever we're playing, I think Friday. Um, so, you know, we really just got to take, take it one pitch at a time, focus on, you know, the, the situation at hand and winning our regional, and then, you know, we'll go from there. You know, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you know, a team could lose and we still could have a chance to host. And if not, we'll go wherever we need to go and we'll, we'll just take care of business and keep focusing on us and whatever we need to do to, to control the situation. But, yeah, it, it is a little bit tough being that. We played so well down the stretch, and you know we've had so many tough things go on throughout our season. But you know, still getting that chance at a host, no matter whether we're a national seed or not, is, is still a good feeling. From a pitcher's perspective, how impressive was it to see Colin catch both those games? Yeah, you know, Colin's Colin's a warrior back there. You know, uh, you know, I'm sure he's done that many times in his career, so it wasn't something that was new to him. But on a day like that, a hot day, long day, waking up at 6:30, 6 o'clock in the morning, you know, it's. It's, I know it's not easy, and you know, for him to be able to do that, it's, it's really impressive. And you know, we got to give him a lot of props. And you know, Colin does a great job of working with the pitchers, kind of helping us out, and what adjustments we need to get to. And he's a wall back there, so it makes it easy to throw to. So yeah, you got to give Colin a lot of a lot of props for that. Joe, I knew your last time you probably wasn't what you wanted. So how anxious do you to get back out there? Yeah, you know, uh, Saturday was kind of a tough day. Um, you know, I didn't quite have the outing I, I wanted, but you know, I just got to. Get back in the bullpen with Rob. Um, kind of look at my film and see what adjustments I need to make to to get back on track. You know, uh, you're only as good as your next outing, so I kind of just have to flush that one and you know get ready to get back out there in the, in the regional and help my team win, um, win in any way I can. So definitely will look forward to having a good bullpen this week and getting myself back on track and you know get my mind right and, and ready to attack whatever's next. When you look at guys like 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 Parker and Jensen that have that have battled injuries and, and you know Parker for a long right, time yeah. like to to come through it the way they did and go through the down times and all those different things that come out where they're at what's uh, what does that mean to you Yeah you know that's awesome uh, especially someone you know that hasn't had 
a whole lot of injuries, so I've kind of been there to hold down the fort for a little bit while they've been out. But you know, just seeing the treatment and seeing all the all the ups and downs they've had to go through. Parker got over one injury, came out and threw for a little bit, and then the next one hit. You know, and you, I just remember how down he was, and you know, and, and Jensen the same thing. You know, he was he was such a warrior for us his freshman year, and you know, and for him to go down, it was definitely tough. And you know, his you know when you're a pitcher and you get hurt and you're not be able to throw and you honestly don't really know what to do with yourself. So I know how, how tough it was for those guys. So, you know, I just try to help them and support them and do anything I could for them, just kind of keep their spirits up. And for them to put in all that work and all that treatment time and, and everything they've had to do to get back out there and for them to have the success that they're having right now, it's, it's really awesome and incredible to see, you know, that they didn't give up. They kept pushing through it. And, you know, they're going to keep pushing through it till, till ultimately get, they get to where they want to be. So, yeah, it's, it's really good, cool to see for sure. A lot of guys have talked about how much fun this this team is. What do you think makes this team unique compared to maybe some of the other teams you've been part of here? I think, you know, just no matter what situation we're thrown in, I think we just kind of take the positive outlook on um, on things, you know. Uh, we've been thrown with so many, thrown so many different places this year and so many different ups and downs. And, you know, I think just kind of we just have that mindset of it doesn't really matter. We've, we have each other, and that's really all we need. And, you know, we just try to make every – every situation the best situation we can you know we're always cracking jokes we're always you know just having a positive mindset no matter what the score is no matter if it's raining outside if it's sunny and 100 you know we're we're happy to be there and you know, we're just kind of trying to enjoy uh each other i think you know this year with kind of the leadership we have and knowing that it's probably going to be a lot of our guys last year's you know we're just kind of trying to take it one day at a time and just keeping a positive outlook on any every situation